Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. In this video, I want to talk about arc fault breakers a little bit and show you how to install one. An arc fault breaker is a little different than a regular breaker. It's actually safer. In some cities, they used to only require them in bedrooms, but now it seems like they are moving to require them for everything. The difference between an arc fault breaker and a regular breaker is a regular breaker will trip if it detects heat or an overload at the panel box. An arc fault breaker will trip if there is heat or arcing downstream from the panel. If you have an outlet that has a loose connection, it may cause some arcing. This arc may not be strong enough to trip a regular breaker, but it's causing plenty of damage at the outlet and is a fire hazard. If this had an arc fault breaker, the circuit would trip. How do you install one of these? It's a little bit different. An arc fault breaker comes with this little neutral pigtail here. This is what you hook up to the neutral bar. Then the neutral wire from the circuit actually goes on the breaker along with the hot wire. There should be a white dot on the breaker to identify which screw to put the neutral under. And as always, your ground wire goes on the ground bar first. If you're looking for extra protection for your electrical system, get a bunch of these. Go to the virtualelectrician.com and schedule a virtual electrician to walk you through it.